55! And it's really early for me to be making this video. I normally do them at night, but um, for some odd reason I felt like I needed to kind of get it out of the way today um, because I thought I was going to have plans, but everything got kind of effed up, so I'm still going to do it early anyways, even though my plans are kind of shot. So the first thing I'd like to point out today, like people that are on the internet, you need to watch this when or at the same time you're watching this video, you need to go find this video on YouTube. Um, I came upon the trailer of If I Stay. <sighs> and um, not only does it look phenomenal, and I will probably blubber like some weird dying whale at uh, the movie theater when I watch it, um, but... Just, just watch the video and you'll know, or the, the, yeah, the trailer and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but the plotline of the story actually makes me think of a story that I've been working on for a couple of years now. And um, when it comes to me and my writing, I tend to lose, like I have a really profound like kickstart, um, a fire just comes out of nowhere and I just start to write this idea, well after a while... Um, the flame starts to go out and then I lose inspiration and I stop writing so a lot of what I write besides my poems are kind of left um, just unfinished so after watching this trailer I started to like the the fire got rekindled and I'm kind of re-inspired to keep writing this story um, I don't even know what part of it I'm gonna write but I'll write something uh, secondly I woke up and cleaned downstairs today. Uh, yeah, I kind of let my room go <laughs> for a while, and I was—I woke up and I was just sick of it. So I vacuumed all downstairs, and I did some loads of laundry, and I'm cleaning the bathroom, and just all the stuff. Uh, burnt some sage, burnt some incense, lit some candles, trying to make the vibe, the energy in the room good. So, um... And I still plan on cleaning some more later tonight. That's probably what I'm going to do if my plans don't work out. It sucks, but oh well. The cleaning that needs to be done. Number three, uh, I noticed this when I was curling my hair. <laughs> um, I physically feel better, and I think it might be a mixture of the pills I've been taking for my back inflammation and also um, making a conscience, a conscious, conscious, sorry, not conscience, conscious effort um, to eat right and actually paying attention to my diet versus just throwing food in my face and just, you know, scarfing it down. Um, I definitely think that when it comes to me trying to make a change um, in my life, um, <laughs> it's all about a matter of will. Will is what, if you don't have the will to do something, um, and if you have a second of doubt, you probably aren't going to go through with it. And so far, I haven't had any doubt because... Uh, the way I've been feeling, I, fe I, I just feel different. I feel more awake. I feel more alive. I don't feel like in a haze or drowsy or lethargic or anything like that. I feel awake, like I should. So, um, I definitely think that is because I'm putting more vegetables and fruit in my diet than I had been ever before. Um, and I'm definitely seeing the difference. So, that's awesome. Four, I've been listening to Positive Jams today. For all the bigger, wider, thicker ladies, uh, if you have not listened to Megan Trainer's All About That Bass, even though I'm probably, I, I'm pretty certain that you have because it's on the radio all the time and it's on social media, websites, like everywhere. But if you haven't, also look that up after you watch if I stay, that trailer, um, because it's just, it's, it, it's a good positive song for women who, um, 
have low self-esteem about their size or their weight. Um, and so the more I listen to it, the better I feel. Um, yeah. I'd like to point out that when I'm, when I'm discussing my diet and how I'm trying to change it, it really isn't about my size that's the issue, um, even though a lot of people do have issues with my size. Um, that's not the reason I'm doing it. Um, I'm, I am 5'7". I am a thicker kind of person. I'm a bit stout. I have a long, high waist, um, and my legs are kind of short. And uh, in the past, when I've tried to lose weight, um, it doesn't really work. Well, trying to lose inches doesn't work. I can lose weight, but I won't lose inches. Um, so I'm kind of just trying to not even worry about that. Mostly right now, it's just me trying to feel healthier. That's the focus. Um, that's my goal. So, um, and I do from time to time feel uh, that my, my self-esteem goes down a bit, uh, especially when I hang out with skinnier people, small people, like size two people, which is crazy. Um, but, you know, that's just how I'm built. I can't really change that part of me. I've tried a lot of times before and it just doesn't work. Um, so yeah, when I feel down, I'll listen to music like this. And I really like the song. It's cute. It's fun. It's, I mean, big ladies shake your booty to it because it's an awesome song. And then the last one, um, today number five, um, my hair gets dry in the summer. It does. It just gets like horse hair. Like it's, my hair's thick. Um, and it does dry out in the summer. So, um, so when it does, uh, I'm trying to grow my hair out. You'll see a picture on here if I can make it work. I might not be able to, but I'll try. Um, of what my hair used to look like when I got it cut last summer, I got a pixie cut and it was super short, like super short. Um, or at least for me it was super short because my hair, um, when I graduated high school, was probably about here-ish. Um, and so I would keep getting it trimmed and then I got to about my shoulders and then to my jaw and then I go back out to my shoulders and then I got a pixie cut. Um, and so right now I'm trying to grow it back out. And I know there are tips about, you know, not washing your hair every day and the oil helps um, your hair grow. Well, my issue is my hair gets oily really, really fast and I hate having oily hair. Plus I run my hands through my hair all the time. I just get freaked out and I do that. And I touch my face a lot too. So. I mean, I use dry shampoo when I don't wash my hair, except it's always right here that it gets the most oily because I touch it the most. Um, but anyways, back to what I was trying to talk about. Uh, did an oil treatment in on my hair, in my hair, on my hair, within my hair. Uh, and I do this every once in a while. I don't do it all the time. Because if you put, do it all the time, it can kind of just mess up your hair. But, um, yeah, it feels awesome. It's super smooth. A lot of, a couple of my friends have done it before, and they notice a difference after they wash out the oil. They're like, holy crap, what did you do to my hair? Uh, it was the oil. It wasn't me. Um, but, yeah, today I did a mixture of different oils. I did coconut oil, peppermint oil, um, and jojoba oil. Now, coconut oil you can buy at Walmart. That's what I did. Got in a giant, like, mayo-ish tub. It looks like a, like a jar of mayo, but it says coconut oil. Make sure it's coconut oil, not mayonnaise. Um, and that was pretty cheap. It was relatively cheap, and there's a lot in there. And you don't need a lot because oil melts and it goes everywhere. Um, peppermint oil I had to make. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Same with my lavender oil that I did use before. Um, yeah, I had to make that. And then jojoba oil I bought at uh, Sally Hansen. That was a little bit more spendy, but um, it does help hair growth. Uh, but yeah, so 
It's awesome. And if you guys do do an oil treatment, I do recommend that you make the oil warm. Uh, today I made the mistake of making it really, really hot and I kind of <laughs> burnt my head a little bit. Um, yeah, just make it warm. Make sure it's melted. Don't, like, if I'm lazy, I won't warm it up. I'll just scoop it out, rub it in my hands, and put it through my hair just because I'm lazy. But it does work a lot better, I think, when the oil's warm. Um, yeah, so just try it out if you want to make your hair more healthy and stuff. And that's all I have for today. So I will post um, my day six video tomorrow. Guess it's true, I'm not good.